All right, 5K products in about five minutes. So this is a very, very important scraping method to know how to do and learn. Fortunately, it's very simple. It won't work on every site, but you'd be surprised how many it does work on. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to inspect to give you the dev tools, go to network, make sure you've got fetch and XHR highlighted to make it a bit easier. And what you wanna do now is click on things, click on uh, categories, products, or searches, because what we're looking for is the back end sending the front end the data it's needing for this search to populate these products. It's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and make this. So you can see we have a search with our search term, offset limit, this and the response here is nice and neat formatted JSON data with all of the product information for that search. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to go copy as curl and then I'm going to come to my browser and I'm going to do curl converter paste it in here and now we have a nice load of Python code that is going to mimic that request for us. So if I do print response.json at the bottom of this, come to the top, I'm just going to do from rich import in print just so it's a bit neater to see in the terminal. We should have that response back and we do. We can see all the product information, here we are, everything like that. So what we need to do now is turn this into a function so we can you know, go through each and every offset to the maximum response, maximum amount, because the offset is going to get us the next page, essentially, of data. So let's create, create a function. We'll call this one API request. This is going to take in an offset. And we will indent all of this. And we'll change the limit. I believe we can go away with 100 on this. And we're going to make the offset the number that we are putting in. What we want to do with the response then is something like we want to yield out each one because we want to loop through all of them. So I'm going to do for product in um, response dot trying to type CSS there. No, response dot JSON products is the key. We're going to then yield product, turn this function into a generator function. Okay, so let's try this out. So we'll do uh, for product in API request and we'll say you know we'll give it the zero starting offset we will print out the product we should be able to just do the item ID so it's nice and easy to see let's run this there we go We've got a load of item ID so we know that it's working let's come back to our code so what we want to do instead of this is we want to loop through every single one so I'm going to do four offset in range let's make this a tad bigger and the range is going to be zero to let's make it 5000 because we know there's that many products and we want to jump up in 100s indent this and then we want to change offset number then we can create a new function a new list so we'll just call this results and we'll print the item id and then we'll do res.append append the um, product so we have all of that stuck in there and then what I'm going to do is outside of that loop I'm just going to print out the length of our results list so we can see how we're getting on and then with open uh, output.json as w as f and then we can just do json I just need to auto import this dot dump and we want to res and f like so so this is going to loop through every single one and it's going to go ahead and spit it all out into a json file so let's go and run it pi main so there's 100 200 300 etc and these should all be the next load of products that we're going through so that's a thousand already helps that we've got that higher limit we could even try seeing if the limit would go even higher so maybe 200 300 um 200 is probably where I should have gone really because slightly less requests and from my experience 200 seems to be about the right sort of high number doesn't matter this seems to be working and we should end up stopping somewhere around here 4847 and now we have our um, output.json file now I could open this in my text editor but this is quite a large json file so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now Give you a little bit of a bonus and we're going to work with this with jq if you use linux you really want to learn how to use jq for querying large json data files it's so good so what we've got here is 
it's going to go through the list like this is what this does and then it's going to search for the item id and it's going to pass them all out for us so there we go what we can also do is we can say things like length and we can then ask for for example the name we'll get to the name of the product and what's really cool is that we can also now pass this into grep if i do grep.i and type ball it's going to give us every product that has the word ball in it like so and i believe there's also we can do metadata and se that's the one seo url part we can turn query that chain these together and now we have all the uh, the kind of like url um slugs that have the word ball and we could easily change this to something else what else chew yeah those are those bowl perfect that's it